St Johnston, they were a point behind Kilmarnock in the chase for Europe and Motherwell arrived in Perth fearful of being sucked into Division 1. It was a slim chance but enough to jolt Brian Martin into action with a third minute goal. The Motherwell skipper criticises new manager's tactics this week but they'll agree on this direct approach from Martin. St Johnston claimed that they too had scored after a suicidal header by Ross. Roddy Grant latched onto it and Coyle stopped it going in just and no more. Coyle was standing behind the line but he leaned over enough to keep it out. The equaliser did come though and just two minutes later it came on the quarter of an hour mark. A header by Lee Jenkinson, one each and not one the Motherwell defence will want to watch back. Then Lee Jenkinson produced his own don't watch alone stunt with this hammer house of horror miss. What a carry on and Sid James couldn't have produced anything as comical as this. Georgia Boyle's miss. After that Motherwell came back into the game and they were awarded a penalty kick after an hour. Alan Kernahan tripping Billy Davis. Tommy Coyne stepped up, took the kick confidently and 2-1 Motherwell. Here's the freak injury which saw Jim Weir taken to hospital. He falls awkwardly after the simple tackle and the St. Johnson skipper's season ends prematurely. Paul Storick got a short-term gain from Weir's injury. The sub who replaced him, Stuart McCluskey, scored Saints' second equaliser. O'Boyle headed down the corner and McCluskey scored from two feet out. Saints began to turn the screw on the Lanarkshire side. George O'Boyle leading the charge. And it looked like the winning goal wouldn't be far away. Kieran McInespy thought he got it, but Eddie May produced the heroics for Motherwell. Storick told his men to keep attacking and with two minutes left that approach paid off with Lee Jenkinson scoring a slick winner. A second goal of the game for Jenkinson, his third in two weeks, and 3-2 for the Euro Hunters.